into it, started getting good. Did you eventually get a cube? Yeah. Oh, I stole one. Yeah, I. Yeah. yeah, I told my friend I would pay him back. Still haven't. That was like seven years ago. That's so mean. Yeah, it's, it's like you buy one on Craigslist for like fifteen dollars. But anyways, uh, we are going to the match. We have winners finals: Sethalon versus Lunchables. So these have these guys haven't met in tournament in a long time. Definitely, and it's gonna be really interesting to see if Lunchables goes for the Roy Ditto or if he opts for Toon Link. He told me that he is going to uh, go Toon Link for the stages he can platform camp on. Or not plot like circle can't even take this jack off. It's getting a little warm. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm so cold. Yeah. Thinking you're like way taller than I am. Yeah. Like tall people tall people get hot easily. It's can we, can it's we stand science. up real faster so stream stands. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's yeah. Yeah, that, that happens. That's what I that's like my it's elementary school all over again. <laughs> just this is just my everyday interaction. I teach fourth have, graders. Really? Yeah. What do you teach? Sort. Well, it's like a daycare thing, but Ooh. yeah. But I tower over them. It's great. That's they must so many broken necks. <laughs> so many broken necks. Oh man, they're just constantly in the nurse's office with whiplash. Just like, hey, and then they look up at me like, ow. <laughs> so Oracle, how did the name come about? Um, I actually didn't have a tag until like two years ago. Even though I'd been going to tournaments for longer than that, um, and I just was like. I was really good at reading people, and I, I was trying to think of a tag. I was like, oh, I just read people. I can predict the future. I'm the Oracle. It's the so Oracle. simple. Yeah. See, I don't really see you as a, uh, an African-American woman in, uh, in the Matrix. Oh, yeah, no, that's not that's <laughs> not what it was based off of. Gee, Keanu Reeves is great, but the Oracle is my favorite character in the Matrix. Dude, she's pretty cool. She uh, is pretty legit, though. I'm, a, I'm more of a Morpheus man myself. Dude, uh, Morpheus is sick. Morpheus is that That... that that scene when, when he's like, I know Kung Fu. Oh, yeah. He's like, come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. Oh, yeah. Like, like, right now, I'm, I'm learning Melee. That's learning. actually, like, really good advice. It really for is. Someone, for someone who's, like, medium. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Someone who's medium level at Smash, you can just tell them, stop trying to hit me and hit me. And it's great advice. Definitely. They probably won't understand it. But anyways, we're going to the match. Uh, Seth Lon getting very colorful with the side B. Lunchables is running around. So this is going to be some very patient play uh, from both sides. Lunchables, uh, Lunchables is not afraid to lame you out if he wants to or needs to. Definitely. At the same time, though, uh, like uh, Stefan is a little bit more controlled of the player versus Lunchables. Like he has this very erratic style, which is very mm -hmm. fun to watch. Yeah, Stefan goes super aggro as you saw, where he just went in and took that stock super uh, fast. So one of the things in this match you'll see, Stefan's going to shield a lot. So Toon Link is. His normals are all, oh, no, Ooh. unfortunate SD. Toon Link's normals are all insanely good, very safe on block, quick, range, disjointed. They're all great, but they're, um, I guess the balancing point is sort of that he has a very slow and risky grab. So Sethlon's going to camp in shield to try and get him to go for the grab and then just read it with a spot dodge, and he gets a big punish off of it. All right. Nice forward air. So Sethlon's just trying to keep him in the air, and... Trying to keep him at this range where he has to be, Lunchables has to be really careful before he does anything, including pull out a projectile. Oh, that boomerang actually saved him there. Oh, sick movement from Lunchables. Definitely really interesting to see. Oh my wow, god. Wow, that Asgard was okay. godlike. I have been playing Sethlon's Roy since before Roy was in Project M. And I have never done that. That is hard. That is so hard to do, where you shield it and then wave that shadow shield backwards to grab the ledge. So Very impressive. He is the prodigy. Ooh, he went for that early kill. One of Toon Link's big weaknesses is uh, meteors and spikes. He has a like a really, really good, one of the best in the game recoveries, but his vertical recovery is terrible. Like Once you get him down low, if he doesn't have time to pull bombs for aerial glide tosses, he does not get to make it back. Oh, Great my God. Great use of the up B to come back. Yeah. Cover one option with a bomb and then use that up to come back and simultaneously edge guard Seth Lon. Sick grab follow-up. Toon Link has a great up throw versus fast followers. Dude. Seth Lon panics and up Bs. Lunchables is so scary when he gets like this. He has some of the best platform movements out of any player I know. And it's just like he can't grab you, so he's just like he's just running all around you to try and get you to flinch so he can hit you. Definitely. He piled on 59% off yeah. of one grab. That's mm. impressive. Yeah, Toon Link's punish game is so scary. Goes for the hard read, misses. Back throw. Goes Ooh. for the edge guard. Ooh. The projectile converts into the forward air. 
and that might, that's not quite it. That's it. Oh, I think he wanted to back throw. This could be it. What, wow, invincibility stall? Oh, down it. That's going to do it. Lunchables takes the first game. Solid stuff by Lunchables. Yeah, it's good stuff. It seemed at the beginning of the match, Stefan was definitely dictating it, but Lunchables yeah. was able to quickly adapt and go yeah. back to that style that we know him for. Yeah, you have to really. It's so scary versus Lunchables. Once he's got some momentum. Oh, I heard the Roy. Okay, that was Stefan. Thought we were going to see a Roy ditto. But anyways, yes, uh, Lunchables' movement is super scary. He is so quick on platforms. He just does. He just goes nuts. He gets right at this range where he can punish you, but you can't really punish him. It makes you think he's going to attack you, and then you dodge, and then he reads it and just punishes. It's, uh, for such, like, a, I guess, a slower, like, patient player, it's really surprising. Like, once he gets that opportunity, he just, he will be super scary and be up in your face to make you flinch. Oh, definitely. And, you know, he's, he's just relentless. And he, I, yeah, it's super it relentless. so entertaining to watch. Oh, God, yeah. It's great. So anyways, we're going to Fountain, a uh, great stage for Roy, uh, so that is small, it's a small stage with usually low platforms, Oh, and those side blast zones are very close to the stage, that's why you saw that early forward smash kill. Let's see if Hunter can potentially answer back with a kill of his own. Yep. Great edge guard, and just like that it's a tie game. Mm -hmm. Roy's recovery, not the best, so uh, especially with the tether, Toon Link can uh, do a nice saw, oh the spike! Barely was, makes it back. Yeah. Yeah, before that was just a really powerful meteor. Now it's similar to Mars down there in that it's not super powerful, but it's a spike. Although the hitbox on Roy's is a lot closer to him, whereas Mars is on the tip. Nice back air. Ooh, back air. yeah, great DI. It's not quite going to do it, even though Toon Link is pretty light. Oh, the sour spot down air. That's the Meta Knight down air from Brawl. Just get him out there at that low angle. Oh, just the YOLO power shield. Oh. That was great. So one thing you can do with Roy, you can sour spot your down air in the right way, and it'll just pop him up right so you can kill him with a back air. Wow. That was really good patience by Sethlon on that last life as well. Mm -hmm. oh could have done that. Yes. Yeah, Sethlon is a very aggressive player, but he will show off the patience if he needs to. Goes for the forward smash. Good job using that bomb to get out of that situation. Oh, he baited that out, but he was uh, his spacing was not perfect. Oh, nice little conversion with the side B. Sethon's uses of Roy's side B are so complex. Oh, the wow, fully nasty died. read. Absolutely nasty read. That was probably an accidental. Oh, could have cost him a stock. Nice combos at falling up air into the forward smash, and that's going to be the stock. All because Lunchables accidentally wall jumped. He could have had some. Lunchables would have had some big momentum with that nasty read. Oh, he does a settle on. Gonna do some combos. So the Sethlon is when you uh, your opponent's shielding on the platform and you just wave land on and grab it. Wow. Nice! Oh, that was such a sick read on the tech away. Hits him with a forward smash, and now we're going to game three, and both players are 1-1. One, one. Definitely, you know, Sethlon did a really good job of dictating the pace of that match. Yeah. You know? We saw Lunchables near the end of that first match really find his momentum and find his strength. Yeah. But Sethlon with that counter pick did such a solid job of shutting that down immediately with yeah. that convincing two stuff. Mm -hmm. You really just can't let Toon Link get all the space. Like, your goal in most matchups with Toon Link is to prevent him from pulling out a bomb. So, once he's got a bomb, his options are way better. So, you want to stay at a range where if he does pull out the bomb, you can get the punish for it. Yeah, so if you watch Sethlon, he'll be staying like just two to three character lengths away from Lunchables. So if Lunchables goes for the bomb pull, then he gets punished. So we're going to Smashville. Uh, a little bit of a bigger stage, and I guess he doesn't want the platforms to give Sethlon a big advantage. Toon Link does have a nice, like, a really good juggling game. He doesn't want that to be interrupted with the platforms. All right. Oh, oh. That edge guard attempt, that could have been the stock. Oh, nice grab. So here, we're going to start these juggles. Uh, Roy's in a bad spot having to be in the air. Once we'll throw a bomb at himself for some reason. Oh, the, the item catch. Too bad Roy's item throw is terrible. Really? Yeah, it's, one of, it's really bad. A lot of characters just have bad item throws. Oh, uh, what's up? Oh, they normalize item throws? Oh, my. Thank God. Okay, so apparently, according to Deck Poe, they normalize item throws. Whereas I learned that Toon Link killed Roy off the top. Good stuff to Lunchables. Solid. Let's see if Cephalon can quickly close out this stock. But Lunchables is going to really pile on the percentage. Mm -hmm. Crash cancel down smash. Not quite going to do it. 
Lunchable's using this platform to uh, just get a little time to get the bomb. Wow. Oh, he baited, dodged. Oh, I, yeah. I expected a stronger punish, though, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But still good on him, I guess. Maybe he just wanted to attack on the percent and run away. So he yeah. Hit so quickly. Yeah, it, his window to punish there was uh, actually pretty small, so I didn't think he didn't want to risk something big because he it could go wrong. Ooh, nice read on that. Ooh, quick up B. I was saying nice read on the tech chase, but this this game is just so it's going by too fast. There's so many things happening. It is so quick and it's just back and forth, which makes it, oh incredibly entertaining to watch, mm -hmm. but very difficult to commentate. Yes. Oh, nice little combo into the up B. He's got an opportunity for edge guard. Ooh. Oh, misses. It is really difficult to get behind Roy. Oh, the ground tech! Sick stuff from Lunchables. I'm going to go ahead and give him the benefit of the doubt and say he planned that. Ooh, solid grab. Mm -hmm. Oh, he, he reeled in on that tether. He might not have the muscle memory down, but when somebody tethers to the ledge like that, you can get a big punish guaranteed. Down smash at that low angle is probably going to do it. Yep, Roy can't make it back. All right. Oh, just gets what? You don't just do that. You just spawn from invincibility and just forward smash. Cephalon does that. Yeah, Cephalon makes it work. He, he makes, makes a strategy you use versus your little cousin work. All right. Shields up B. He has no jump, so if he can get him. Oh, wow, that was the, the counter sick. was so real. That was the sickest reset I've ever seen. Good lord, that, that was amazing. Incredible. Yeah. What kind of read do you have to just, like, stop? Mid-combo, you stop everything. It's just like, you're going to attack right now, so I'm going to counter it. That was so good. So good. That was, uh, that was like a counter breaker. Mm -hmm. Incredible stuff. Combo breaker. It's like a combo breaker. That was a really good bait from Lunchables. So what he did, oh, no, catches him trying to reel in. So Lunchables, he, like, faded back to make Sethalon think he was going to grab the ledge, so it's a Sethalon upbeat high. Oh, these grab mind games are so real. Oh, yeah, it's a 50-50, whether he down or back throws you, I think. Down or F-throw? Back or F-throw? I can't remember. I mean, I was talking more so about, like, the, the approaches, you know, Sethalon. Oh, is, yeah. He's trying to be so patient with his approaches and so calculated, but... Lunchables just was... did 100% uh, in the time it took you to say that sentence. Oh, the reads! Oh, the reads! Oh, my God, the read! Oh, my God, that charge forward smash. No spacing required. Just B one big old hitbox as long as you know where they're going to be, like Lunchables just did. Just put your sword where they're going to be, and they will die. That's how you play Super Smash Bros. Just put your sword where they are. <laughs> I'm trying my best not to think like a 13-year-old right now. Just, <laughs> you are... Yeah, Are you gonna I'm scold me like one of your fourth graders? Yeah, writers? nope. You're gonna go. You're gonna. You're going to timeout. Oh Mr. no! <laughs> yeah, I'll commentate by myself. I don't care. <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best to be better. Okay, good. <laughs> you better. All right. So, uh, Lunchables is up two one. Yeah. So far, it's it's one one. Or sorry, two one. Yeah. Uh, Lunchables did a solid job of, I guess, kind of like bringing that game back in his favor. Um, and uh, I'm really interested to see if this counter pick can kind of counter the momentum that Lunchables gained, similar to how Fountain countered the momentum that he had from the previous win. Yeah. Um, I don't know. He loves this stage, but... So I, I usually generalize the way that I approach stages. Oh, goes for the spike. And so generally, if someone's going to camp me, if I or I'm afraid that they're going to camp me, I will not take them here because... They might just sit under the platform and throw stuff. But Lunchables is uh, not doing that, so I guess Sethlon made the good pick. Oh, nice little up beam. We've got about an even game. Ooh, good Puma. Oh! Oh my god, forward tilt. Yeah, that dash attack on the ledge would not have hit normally, uh, but because of the slope, it hit a little bit lower. And Sethlon's so smart with those recoveries. He was in such a bad position. Mm -hmm. Ends up turning it around. Look at this recovery. Oh, wow. wow! That was tight timing to get that edge hog. Oh, man. Nice patience, but not patient enough. He gets a little antsy. He goes for the pressure. I don't think Lunchables has a jump. Yeah, he panicked and not beat. Sethlon couldn't punish it because it does fall quite fast. That is one of the scariest spots, I think, in this game to be in. When Roy is underneath you, juggling you, and you have, have yeah, you don't have a jump. That is just, I'm just afraid. And, oh, my God, Sethlon has just closed out that stock super quickly. He definitely has, like, a commanding lead right now. Mm -hmm. But all Lunchables needs is one solid, well-placed hit, and he can bring this back. Yep. Nice down there. There's the solid and well-placed hit to take Seth on stock. He's only got a stock lead. In this game, you know, that doesn't mean anything. 
I mean, it means something, but not much. Good up he had a shield. Oh, Ooh. my God. I uh, oh. Okay, how can you make, like, the, the hard read, like, in the last game, and then just immediately hold down versus the forward smash? It was a great, great mix-up from Seth Long. He's so good at those 50-50s where it's like you don't want to DI in because then his combo is going to last even longer. Which is, oh, my God. Wow. And the Seth Long Ken combo down throw. I mean, down tilt to down air. There's just down attacks happening. Down, down thing to other down and, thing and, to down blast zone. And, you know, Roy is so terrifying when he's crouched. That, that down tilt covers so much range and sets up for so many combos. Like, he's saw like, beautifully yeah. set up that down tilt into, like, yeah. a perfect, perfect down air. Yeah, Roy's down tilt's one of the best uh, one of the best down tilts in the game. In Melee, it was basically the best down tilt in the game. Because it was like Marth's, except it gave you combos. So uh, in this game, it's uh, no different. Okay, so wow, I guess we only have three stages to choose from: FD, mm -hmm. Battlefield, or Lilac. I would actually. Well, excuse me, it's, uh, it's a little bit late. Yeah. It's uh, uh, whose pick is it? It's uh, it's Lunchable's pick, right? Yeah. So if I were hmm. Lunchable's, I would have probably taken him to Lilac. It's really hard for. Uh, well, yeah, they're like ten feet away. I don't want here. Yeah, so I would take him to Lilac. Uh, it's really hard for Lunchables, or for Seth Long to recover with Roy to get that perfect angle, whereas Lunchables can just auto sweet spot with the tether. And uh, those platforms are going to make it super hard for Roy to get down. But he's going to listen to you. Yep. Yeah, good thing. Yeah. He didn't He didn't heed my advice. Oh. Maybe he did listen to me. Oh. Maybe he heard us say he didn't listen to you and said, oh, no, I picked the wrong stage. Yeah. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> just he didn't like the spawn position, so he wanted to switch him. I guess that's reasonable. That's actually not uh, allowed in the tournament rules, but whatever. I, I, I assume it was a controller issue. He's just a boy. All right, so Sethlon already has uh, pushed forward with a big lead. Great shield by Sethlon. Mm -hmm. Oh, goes for a grab. Nice grab from Lunchables. That, I think that's going to be key to making Toon Link work. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. He read that, but he was not spaced properly at all to make that forward smash work. But he's still got all the momentum. Juggle into a back air. That was supposed to be back air, wow. that forward air. Great stuff. Was that the neutral that Lunchables used to get out of that? Um, I think so. Really yeah. good stuff. Oh, down tilt? Oh, goes for the back. Misses I think the back air. I don't think yeah. I've seen Cephalon miss one of those this entire evening. He does go for it uh, a lot. And okay. sometimes you can jump out. Oh, wow. does a slow get up? Oh, Lunchables has a shot to even it up right here. Oh, great stuff. That charge forward smash read. Lunchables showing off that, yes, indeed, he does play a lot of online with those charge forward smashes. So oh, point, nice. Cephalon uses that side B. So there, since he saw that Lunchables missed a tech, he went for the third hit out, which is very strong if you can get a good hit. Goes for the nair, but Lunchables didn't try to land or attack with anything. Ooh, I don't know how that didn't hit. That DI mix up. Oh, my goodness. Lunchables is just sneaking his way out of these side B's with a sick combo. Dash attack, and that's going to be the stock. That dash attack sends a super low angle, very difficult for uh, Roy to recover from. And you can definitely see that the momentum has shifted into Lunchables' favor. He's yeah. done such a great job employing those dodges to really shift up oh, uh, combos. Seth combos options. Nice. He just hit 88% off of basically just one hit in neutral. Did he end up also ledge canceling uh, his up B? Um, he did. Yeah, he's really good at that off of the platforms. It's uh, Toon Link has uh, like good air speed, so it's not super hard. But he will always do that. You almost never see him. Oh, like, so deep. That was so patient from Seth Lon. I don't know how he did. Oh, nice. Nice little reset. So he had to... Stop going for the hits so he could just land and set himself up perfectly for that down smash. Oh, definitely. Lunchables with this pressure. Cephalon is on his last stock of winners' finals. This could be. Oh, that sick grab conversion. Goes for the tech read but misses. Cephalon reads the spot dodge. Going oh. for some juggles. Nice side B. Oh, my oh, goodness. Misses the read. Oh, my good. No, he's he got his jump back. Yep. Cephalon's oh. doing a really good job of steadily closing this gap. Yeah. He's taking minimal damage while really putting the Lunchables in a lot of pressure. Sick now forward smash. Yeah, now we have both players on their last stock. Last stock. Oh, misses. It's that was big. so smart of Cephalon. He timed that throw to use the invincibility to get around the boomerang. Nice shield grab. Keep him. Cephalon has perfect control right now. Gives it up a little bit. 
momentum is definitely in Stefan's favor. Yeah. Let's see if Lunchables can answer back. Oh, wow! Lunchables takes winner's finals with a nice edge hog on Seth Lon's Roy. That edge hog was so on point. That was nasty. That yeah. was gross to look at. I need a... I need a, I need a... Yeah, I need Kleenex. I need, I need, I need a little, little bit of hand little sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Yeah. I need to take a shower. Yeah, I oh, God. A I need to take a shower after that edge guard. So... <laughs> so 